Okay, I'm going to give you three reasons why Peter was the worst pope in history. The Catholic Church teaches that Peter was the first pope, and there's an apostolic line of succession from Peter. But I'm going to show you from Scripture that Peter was the worst pope in history, if he even was a pope, which he was most certainly not, because the office of a pope is not scriptural at all. Um, the Pope is an Antichrist, but here is num reason number one why Peter was the worst Pope. Peter was married. Matthew chapter 8, verse 14, And when Jesus came into Peter's house, he saw his wife, mother, laid, and sick of a fever. His wife's mother. So Peter had a wife. He was married. Second reason why Peter was the worst Pope, Peter never accepted reverence like the Pope does today. Acts chapter 10, verse 25 and 26, And as Peter was coming in, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshipped him, but Peter took him up, saying, Stand up, for I myself am also a man. Now, have you ever seen a pope do that today, or someone just bows down to him, and he's like, Oh, don't worship me, I'm also a man. Um, no, the pope accepts worship. They worship that guy over in Rome. But Peter never accepted reverence like the pope does today. And third reason why Peter was the worst pope is that Peter declared that Jesus Christ was the chief cornerstone, not himself. Acts chapter 4 verse 12, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Talking about Jesus Christ. Ephesians 2.20, And they're built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. So Peter said that Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone. And it's kind of funny because Catholics, they'll take Matthew 16, 18 completely out of context and say, see, that he's giving, he's calling Peter the rock. Uh, no, Jesus says, upon this rock, referring to himself, I will build my church. So no, they're not reading the verse correctly. But there's three reasons why Peter was the worst pope in history. He was married, he did not accept reverence, and he said Jesus Christ was the chief, chief cornerstone, not himself. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. These are just one of the many examples of how they contradict scripture. And they want to claim that Peter was the first pope, even though Peter was never even in Rome. But they want to have this, this so-called apostolic line of succession from Peter, which is not even biblical at all. Because the office of a pope is not scriptural at all. You don't find the office of a pope anywhere in scripture. You find bishops, you find overseers, you find deacons, but you don't find popes, you don't find nuns, you don't find cardinals, none of that stuff. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. It is a, a, a pagan cult. It is not, it is not biblical. It is not Bible-believing Christianity. It is just Greek Roman paganism repackaged. So don't be deceived. By the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.